In this video, I will share my top portrait photography tips for how to pose your friends who aren't models. Also, be sure to watch until the end of the video to learn how to get the free Portrait Photographer's Ultimate Resource Guide. Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. If this is your first time watching, please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date on all the awesome content I'm putting out. Now let's get to it. Now a lot of times if you're shooting photos with friends and taking portraits of them, those people will not necessarily have any modeling experience. So in this video, I'm going to share some top posing tips that you can use to set up perfect shots with your friends. So my first tip is give specific and positive directions. Now this flies in the face of a lot of what I've seen in other videos on this subject, which will tell you just convey a mood, man. Well, conveying a mood is great in photos, but a lot of people are very self-conscious in front of the camera, or when you put a camera up to their face, they just don't know what to do. So giving specific directions takes any of the confusion out of the situation for how they should stand or how they should look, what direction they should look in. If you give them specific directions, it makes it easier to set up the shot. Now again, the second part of that is to be positive. So you want to be positive in the feedback that you're giving to the person you're taking photos of and make them feel comfortable and at ease. So tip number two is tell them what to do with their hands. Now a lot of times when I'm shooting with friends, I will start shooting and the first thing that they'll say to me is, okay, what do I do with my hands? So learn a few basic poses about hand placements, like placing hands on the hips or crossing arms and just have a few things to fall back on so that you can tell them where to put their hands. Otherwise, they're just gonna have their hands at their sides and they're gonna look stiff and uncomfortable and the photos are not gonna look as good that way. So give specific directions on how to place their hands. So tip number three is show and tell. So when you're trying to set up a pose with your friend, actually show the pose to them, act it out in front of them. So if you want them to turn their body to the side or lean against the wall in a particular way, actually act it out in front of them so that they can see what you're trying to set up. The visual cues are really helpful and will make it a lot easier for them to conceptualize the type of pose you're trying to put them in. And another power tip about this is to actually have some example photos on your phone so that you can show them to your friend and show them what type of pose you're trying to set up. Tip number four is keep them laughing. So laughter is a great way to help your friend relax and make them more calm and at ease in front of the camera. So chances are if you're shooting photos with a friend, you're already gonna know some ways that you can get them laughing pretty easily. So go with it, just make them laugh, and it's gonna make the whole photo shoot a lot more fun and comfortable. And again, even if you're not looking to capture like candid photos of laughter or you wanna go for a darker mood, making a person laugh during a photo shoot just makes the whole thing a lot more fun and helps put the other person at ease. So tip number five is keep them moving. So instead of just asking them to set up stiff poses, once you start getting into a rhythm, you can actually ask them to keep moving around and trying out different poses and just keep them moving more fluidly as you take photos of them. And when you see something you like, you can ask them to pause for a second and hold the pose for a little bit longer, take a few extra shots, and then have them keep moving. This is gonna make the poses look a lot more natural and it's gonna make your friend a lot more comfortable as you're taking pictures of them. But if you are trying to set up a particular pose and you're trying to make it look a little bit more natural and comfortable, one way to do this is to have them set up in the pose then sort of move out of it and then resettle back into it so this helps them sort of find the comfortable groove of the pose now a lot of times I've recognized that when you're setting up poses if it feels unnatural to the other person it's gonna look unnatural and uncomfortable in the photos so just be flexible during the shoot and have your friend keep moving and settling into different poses as you go along now finally just have fun with it Taking photos with friends is one of the most fun things that you can do, and people always love to have great pictures of themselves. So if you can provide awesome portraits of your friends, they're gonna love you for it, let me tell you. It's one of the most gratifying things in the world to take an amazing photo of another person and then share it with them. It just does so much for helping to build self-esteem, confidence, and just brings a lot of joy to the other person and yourself. 
Now, if you want to get the free Portrait Photographer's Ultimate Resource Guide, click on the link that I've put in the description, which will take you to a page where you can sign up to my email newsletter. Now, with the newsletter, I send out weekly updates and photography tips straight to your inbox. And so if you sign up for the newsletter, you'll get the free Portrait Photographer's Resource Guide sent directly to your inbox. Now, we'll see you soon, folks. This has been another episode of Dan Bowen Photography. Peace.